I can hear nobody. It's completely silent, other than the uh, air conditioning or the ventilation. There's nobody in sight. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Tom and today I'm taking a look at Monmouth Mall in Eatontown, New Jersey. The main reason I wanted to come out and see this mall is that most of it's scheduled to be torn down over the next few months or so. Basically they're taking this traditional indoor mall and converting it into an open air mall. Now this might seem like a radical change but when this mall first opened in 1960 it was actually a 14 building open air shopping center. It didn't get fully enclosed until 1975 so in some ways, the mall's actually going back to its roots. According to what I've read, the reason they're making this change is that the mall has been struggling for at least a few years now, and this is supposedly a way to revitalize the mall and attract new customers, especially younger customers. Allegedly, younger shoppers prefer shopping outside, or at least that's what they claim. Personally, I'm not sure how the lack of a roof makes for a more enjoyable shopping experience, in the winter you have to walk in the snow and freeze your butt off and in the summer you have to be out in the heat and humidity so I don't know about you but that doesn't sound better than being in a fully enclosed temperature controlled environment like this but I guess that's just me but let me know what you think about that in the comments oh and I would say almost certainly that restaurant to the left there used to be a Ruby Tuesdays I could be wrong but I don't think I am the mall currently has two wings the original wing, which is the part of the mall we're in now, and then the newer wing, which was added around 1975. This wing of the mall is pretty dead, but just wait until we get to the second wing. It's like a ghost town, and exploring it was one of the creepiest experiences I've ever had in a mall. A pretty awesome experience, but creepy nonetheless. The newer wing is to the right there, and we'll get to that in a few minutes once we've done this wing. So, here's the Macy's. This was the original anchor store, Bamburgers. Bamburgers was actually a subsidiary of Macy's at the time. And here's the only picture I could find of it when it was Bamburgers. You can barely see in the distance where it says Bamburgers. And it didn't actually become Macy's until 1987. Based on the plans I've seen, this original wing will remain mostly intact, except that the roof will be removed and the current hallway connecting the stores will all be outdoors. The 1975 wing, though, will be almost completely demolished, except for the Boscovs, which is at the far end of the mall, and that will remain as a standalone store. This video was filmed on a Tuesday at about 4.45 p.m., roughly, and you would think by this time of the day it would start to be getting a little bit busier because people are getting out of work and they're looking to have dinner, so you would expect a little bit more traffic than this. At least I would. Here's a fairly recent overhead view of the mall. And right now we're approximately where the star is on the map on the left. And we're going up towards the food court. The new wing to the mall is that wing going out to the right there. And that's what's going to be torn down. And then this is what they're calling the Monmouth Village Master Plan. And as far as I know, this is pretty much the final design of what this place is going to look like when they're all done. And as you can see to the left there, those white buildings, that's where we are now. Other than little spots in between the buildings, it's going to look pretty much the same, I think. Um, but then to the right in the new wing, only the Boscovs is going to remain, which is that little white square. And then pretty much everything in between is going to be gone. And don't forget, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. I've got a lot more mall videos coming up. And also, according to YouTube, apparently only 15% of the people watching this video are subscribed to my channel. So if the remaining 85% of you could subscribe, that would be super awesome. Thanks. And don't forget, subscribing is free.
Coming up, here's the food court, which I believe was added between 1994 and 1996. And as you can see, there's barely any restaurants left. Now, coming up ahead, I believe, is the location of one of the original anchor stores, Montgomery Ward. I'm actually not sure if it was located over here on the right where Old Navy is today or if it was where AMC is currently. If anybody knows for sure, let me know in the comments. But I do know that the Montgomery Ward became an Alexander's in 1975, then became Caldor's in 1986. And here's a picture of it when it was Caldor. It then eventually became a Nobody Beats the Wiz sometime between 1994 and 1996 when they added the food court. And then I believe the Nobody Beats the Wiz became Burlington Co. Factory at some point. And now today it's Old Navy. If I'm wrong about any of that, please let me know in the comments because the um, internet was very unclear about what exactly was down at this end of the mall or you know exactly where it was. These escalators here are closed off and I'm honestly not sure where they used to go. I'm guessing maybe to parking or to offices downstairs, but I'm not sure. And of course I had to take a look in the arcade, and as arcades go, this one looks pretty nice. It's bright, it's clean, it's got some really nice games, but uh, as usual there's nobody here. Which seems to be a trend in most of the arcades I go to. I was thinking about playing some games, but this is one of those arcades where they don't use quarters, they use some um, card system, which you have to put money on the card and everything. but. I'm never coming back to this mall again, most likely, so there's really no point in me getting a card. And I could be wrong, but I think if this arcade ran on quarters rather than using that card system, probably more people would be in here playing the games, because I would bet a lot of people just think that's a pain to put money on a card, and they're just like, nah, not today. So this has to be one of the darkest food courts I've ever seen. And I don't know if it's normally this dark or I was thinking they just turned the lights down because, you know, the mall is closing. But, you know, all the lights seem to be on. So I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it's very dark in here, probably because the roof is like a dark blue or a black. Here's a picture of what the food court looked like at some point in the past, and you can see it was much brighter back then. Not sure if my count is correct, but it looks like three open restaurants and six closed. Over the years, this mall has had quite a few renovations and expansions. Like I said earlier, they added the second wing and enclosed the mall between 1975 and 1976. In 1987, they added new floors, glass, lighting, and handrails, and removed the in-floor planters. 
then between 1994 and 1996, like I said, they added the food court, the movie theater, and an elevator, which we'll take a look at later. Then between 2009 and 2011, they did another major expansion and renovation of the mall, once again adding new lighting, tiles, paint, and they updated the food court. Then in 2016, the owners of the mall, Kushner Companies, announced their initial plans to change the mall into an open-air shopping center. This original proposal was going to be uh, called the Monmouth Town Center. This proposal was eventually dropped, though, due to opposition. However, a few years later, they reintroduced a tweaked version of the plan, which included demolishing the new wing of the mall, which we're going to go to right now. And then they decided they were going to add about 700 to 1,000 residential apartments. The residential section is apparently going to be called Monmouth Village, and the retail section will be called Monmouth Square. Coming up ahead is the new wing to the mall. It's two levels, and to be honest with you, this is the reason why I came out to Monmouth Mall. This has to be, like I said, probably the deadest mall or the section of mall I've ever been to. It might even be worse than Hudson Valley Mall, and that's saying a lot. In this entire stretch of mall, there's only two open stores. There is a Hot Topic, and then there's Boskovs all the way at the end, and then everything else is vacant. Other than the former Anchor stores, I don't really know what most of these uh, vacant stores were. So once again, if you know what these stores were, let me know in the comments. And also let me know what your memories are of this mall. And how does it look now compared to the way it did back in its heyday? I think I already know the answer to that, but I'd still be interested uh, to hear your thoughts. Luckily, they weren't playing any music in this wing of the mall. So this is all natural audio. And eventually, when all these people disappear, pretty much all you'll hear, other than me talking occasionally, is uh, the ventilation system, which seemed very loud. Based on this red archway, I'm going to guess this might have been an express. This was the Haynes & Company department store up until 1988 when it went out of business. Uh, Lord & Taylor moved in in 1990, and then Lord & Taylor eventually closed in 2020. And here's the only photo I could find of this place when it was still Haynes. Sadly, this window is all blacked out, so you can't see inside. And here's what it looked like when it was Lord & Taylor. Here's the Hot Topic, which is the only remaining store in this wing of the mall other than Boscov's.
there is no music playing at all down here. But there is music playing in the rest of the mall. Very strange. This was Spencer's for sure. Oh, curtain. I can hear nobody. It's completely silent, other than the uh, air conditioning or the ventilation. There's nobody in sight. Okay, I haven't done any research yet, but I'm going to say this was Macy's. Could be completely wrong, but that's what it looks like. Nope, I was completely wrong. This was J.C. Penney. It was here from when this wing was built in 1975 to 76, and it finally closed in 2022. Kind of feels like it shouldn't be here. But there are no signs saying that you're not supposed to be down here. Actually, this would tell us what was there. So you are here. Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> hmm. Maybe J.C. Penny. We'll see. Actually, let's take a closer look. Looks like it's all blacked out, though. Yeah, it's all blacked out. You can't see in there. The window here says Forever 21. Now, if this doesn't look like something out of the back rooms or a liminal spaces video, I don't know what does. But the only reason they keep this section open is so that you can get the boss cubs. If the boss cubs weren't there, I bet you this whole area would be uh, closed off. Yeah, they got curtains up.
There's Boskovs. It was originally an Abraham and Strauss. It then became a Stearns in 1995, and then finally became a Boskovs in 2001. See much in there. All right, well, these windows are blacked out, but they have a fun little danger notice on them. Danger asbestos, ooh. You don't see that one too much anymore. What makes that really crazy is, like I said, that J.C. Penney just closed in 2022, so that means up through it being open in 2022, there was asbestos in there. That's not good. Well, I might as well try out the staircase while I'm here, before it gets torn down. So I haven't done too much research on this mall, but I heard that a section of it's going to be torn down, and the other section apparently is going to have the roof taken off, and it's going to be an outdoors mall. And I would say it's this uh, section of the mall that's going to be torn down, would be my guess. But if I'm wrong, I'll uh, correct it in the voiceover right now. I was not wrong. Well, I have to admit, I was a little bit disappointed when I first got here in the first section of the mall where it didn't look that dead. I was expecting this, so I'm not disappointed.
is so bizarre. That's not creepy at all. In an empty mall, a giggling uh, kitty ride. And I don't know if the ventilation in most malls is this loud, or if it's just sounding loud because there's absolutely no other sound. Oh, there's an elevator. Gotta ride it. It's a nice ding. Ooh, double sided. Third floor? Where am I now? Am I on the third floor? All right, well, where's the first floor? Let's go to the first floor, see where that is. I didn't see a first floor. I'm guessing it's going to be offices. Which door will open? Wait a minute. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's the first floor. And then the second floor is what would be at the bottom of the escalators. Yeah, so the floor numbering is a bit weird in this elevator. So the first floor is the first level of the new wing, third floor is the second level of the new wing, and then this is the second floor. Well, that was fun. That was fun, and I really didn't want to leave. I could have spent hours in that dead section of the mall.
Straight ahead is the Barnes & Noble. And from what I've read, eventually there's going to be a Whole Foods that's going to go in there. But that might not be opening for a couple years yet. Now, don't go anywhere yet. Next, we're going to do a drive around of the mall and we can see what it looks like from the outside. This was the Haynes and then eventually the Lord and & Taylor. And this exterior doesn't look like it's been updated much at all since 1976. They might have repainted it when Lord & Taylor went in, I'm not sure, but the overall architecture I would say is all from the uh, mid-70s. And then this says J.C. Penney, but J.C. Penney was actually on the other side of the hallway. So this was just the hallway leading towards J.C. Penney. Here's the Boscovs, and I'm honestly not sure if this um, facade has been updated over the years because it does look much more modern than the old uh, Lord & Taylor does and even the J.C. Penney. I believe that this parking lot here used to be a parking garage which I think was demolished as recently as 2022 because it was structurally unsound. And then here's a wider angle view of the mall.
Here's the J.C. Penney building. If you look closely, you can see that bottom right window is smashed out there. This is the AMC movie theater, and apparently this is staying. I'm guessing they're going to update the exterior, which looks kind of run down in my opinion, but uh, it's apparently staying when they uh, redo them all. I had read that they weren't going to start demolition of the mall until March of 2024. This was filmed on February 20th, but very clearly they've started demolition. So if you want to come out here and explore the mall yourself, I would probably do it sooner rather than later because I'm honestly not sure how long that abandoned section of the mall is going to stay open. And there you have it. That's the Monmouth Mall in Eatontown, New Jersey. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. I've got a lot more mall videos coming up, as well as store walkthroughs and, of course, flea markets. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.